What is up? It is 2022 AP scores. They just came out a little while ago, and it's my senior year. I thought, why not react to my scores from this year? So I took three AP tests this year, not as many as a lot of other people, but I think it's enough. I took AP Chemistry, AP Comparative Government, and AP Computer Science A. I thought they were okay classes. I'll go in a little more in detail about what I thought about the classes and the tests themselves later. But right now, let's just look at the scores and see what happened. Here we go. AP Chemistry. I, my teacher the entire year was like, it is almost impossible to get a five on this test. I'm so happy about that one. That was definitely a struggle for me. AP Comparative Government, five. This was expected for me. This test was really easy. I finished it super quickly. And because Comparative Government and Computer Science A, I actually had to take the late version of the Comparative Government test because they were at the same time. So I had a lot of extra studying time for this one. It was pretty simple. I knew everything. The class isn't very difficult. The passage rate isn't as high as it you would expect, but I think it's a pretty easy class for anyone who spends the effort on it. All right, here we go. Computer science, the last one. I was pretty confused in this class. I needed a lot of help from the notes I was provided, so we'll see what the score is for this one. Another five. This is the first year I have gotten all fives on AP tests, so I'm pretty excited about that. Now let's go a little more into detail about each of these classes. I'll give a little overview of the class itself, what I thought of it, and the tests. So AP Chem, if you've taken a chemistry class previously, I honestly think that AP Chem is pretty similar to any other like honors chemistry class you would take. My teacher was like, oh, 10% of this class is what you would see previously, but I thought a good portion of the class is basically just repetitive chemistry taken to maybe a higher level. But the test is very difficult for AP Chemistry. I honestly don't know how I got a five because the multiple choice, I was guessing maybe half to over half of the time because how the AP Chemistry multiple choice questions work is there's normally like one or two answers that are very similar and you kind of can go down to those, or sorry, two answers that are similar. And you can go down to those two answers and you kind of have to determine which of the answers is correct based on, I guess, not really knowledge of the topic, but the wording of the question, which definitely makes it confusing. The FRQ also, if you obviously don't know the chemistry, it's pretty hard. But I thought for this version of the test, AP Chemistry FRQs were pretty straightforward and they had a lot of the simpler topics. I saw in uh, Trevor Packer's score distributions, he was talking about how a in AP Chemistry, the acids and bases was rough on the multiple choice, and I personally agree with that. That was bad. If you are haven't taken AP Chemistry yet, acids and bases, you've got to know that. Or comparative government, it's simple. It's really easy. You could honestly pass the test without taking the class if you just have a little bit of knowledge on the countries that are talked about. And then AP Computer Science A. This class, if you know how to code, if you understand how all the principles work, it's pretty simple. The multiple choice is really just running through what the code is telling you and then picking the answer. You don't really need as much knowledge of what the code is doing as long as you can follow it. For the FRQ though, it definitely is difficult to get all of the points. But something I have been taught throughout is make sure you just write things that can get you a few points that can go for simple topics. And that doesn't just apply for the computer. Like any math and science test, I feel like is less about getting everything right and more about just getting as much as you can. Because I know the cutoff scores for tests like these are pretty low. So you really can get a higher score with knowing less of the material. But I think it's pretty manageable to get good scores on all of these tests. Out of them, I know that chemistry does have a higher, a lower four and five rate than these other classes. If I remember correctly, it was 27% about. 
they got a four or five on the chemistry test. It's definitely manageable, but difficult. I believe that I, what I did to study for chemistry is I actually took the practice test from the College Board website and I had my teacher print them out. So I was able to go through the questions in class during studying time we were given. And that ex helped me extremely to better my ability to answer the multiple choice questions, even though it was difficult on this year's test. I feel like I had enough of a baseline to get enough of them right. I feel like I was probably a borderline between a four and a five. Comparative Gov, again, if you pay attention, you're fine. And computer science, if you don't know it, it's pretty difficult to get a good score on this test. I know in my class, there was a lot lower four and five rate than I was expecting, but I feel like there was a struggle in the class of actually understanding the material. So when you're going for AP computer science, you definitely have to be sure even though answers can be found anywhere on the internet just by looking things up, you have to actually go through the process if you want to do well in the test because it is pretty difficult. And if anybody is curious what my AP scores have been in previous years, I can go through those because why not? In 2021, I got a 4 on BC Calculus and an AP Zip score of a 5. I really like BC Calculus, but I'm going to actually make another video later where I go through what my plots were on the other AP classes I've taken in previous years and go through the classes this year too with a little more detail because I feel like that's important. AP English Lang and Composition, I also got a four on. I think it's just essay writing ability. I don't know. I didn't think it was too bad, but it was some of the worst essays I wrote in my life on this test. AP United States Government and Politics, I got a five. I thought the Gov test was really simple. A lot of people struggle on it, which surprises me, but I honestly think that Gov is any type of government class. I mean, comparative Gov and US Gov, I think they're pretty simple. Hey, look at that awards, woo. -hoo. And then 2020 COVID year, these tests, I don't really consider them to count. They were two questions. I mean, AP Human Geography, I got a five. In physics one, I really didn't know very much, but I got lucky that I had all of the notes available and there were only two FRQs and no multiple choice. So I squeaked out a four on that one. But as you can see, I never got below a four on an AP test. I'm pretty proud of that, but I think it's manageable for anybody. If you put in enough effort, you can get these scores. You just need to push yourself and work hard at it. But yeah, these are my 2022 AP scores. I know it's great. I hope you enjoyed and be on the lookout for in the future when I release my more in-depth overview on the AP classes I've taken.